Hello and welcome back to the February edition of BengalCast. I'm Brett. And I'm David. We have a lot of interesting stories for you today that explains our lives as a student at Elk Forest at, and our community. Have you ever thought about making a difference? Well, these two students decided to help the proud classes. How'd you find out about making the ramp? Found out about making the bowling ramp through Mr. Brown. And he asked me if I wanted to do it, so I wanted to take on the challenge. How did you make it? Well, we had the rolling part, the big, um, where the ball goes down. We just had to make a frame for it. So to make the frame, we took four pieces of metal, two legs, and then two support things. And then we welded each part together and grinded them down so they're nice and smooth. Then we painted over it. And then we electrical taped all the edges that could be considered sharp so none of the kids get hurt when they're messing around with it. I'm so glad that there are people out there that help kids in need. That's Brett reporting. Not often does drama bring us together, but it seems to be bringing this group together of high school students to create not only a show, but a place they can call home. Ian has this more on the story. I'm standing here at the Oak Forest High School stage. This is where they will be hosting their spring musical, uh, Once Upon a Mattress. It may seem like your average high school musical, but the show is a home to the cast. The cast finds family and hope in their show. They repay their love for the show by sinking time into their characters. Olivia Penn describes both what she has done for the character and who she is playing. She is a very overpowering queen who um, likes to rule her kingdom a lot, and she doesn't give a lot of room for anybody else to like budge into what she wants. I feel like right now it's a divide because she is definitely not anyone that I definitely like always play like she's not my my typecast at all but um i feel like once i like start to get more into the character then it'll be fine the girls aren't the only ones pushing for a better show guys are also shooting for the stars when it comes to creating their characters they've been working just as hard to create dynamic characters along with characters that pop we took to the king of their land nick the mute king who is very expressive during the whole musical just very expressive with my hands my facial expressions just body movements. I, for the audition, I just choreographed the, the thing for uh, the audition and I ran out different movements for the different words and stuff and uh, made the whole thing, just ran it multiple times. Actors are not the only ones putting in work, but people behind the scenes are pushing for the best show possible. We took to Christina for her views on the cast. Musical to me is very interesting because you have a very much different cast of characters and different types of people coming in, but then at the end you all become one family and you learn even if you're a freshman or have the smallest part that the seniors and the older kids and the bigger parts will treat you just the same. For Bengals cast, I'm Ian reporting. The show dates are April 17th, 18th, and 19th. Thank you, Ian. As kids went back to school after a relaxing winter break, Many might have brought something else, the flu. Christina has the details. As winter continues on, <coughs> more and more kids are getting sick <coughs> from things like the flu and the cold. <coughs> the flu has struck early this year and the schools are feeling the effects. Nurse Barron shares where she thinks teens first come into that contact. The public, I mean, you know, high school kids work too. So they're out in the public, they're working in the workforce. And it's not just the administration that's noticing. Kids are taking a notice that a lot of their classmates aren't in class. Some kids do go absent during the winter time and flu season. Kids spend around 4.5 days out of school on average, but Mickey isn't one of them. I've never had to miss a long period of time because I've gotten sick. Nurse Barron shares her tips on preventing the cold and flu. You wash your hands properly, keep them away from your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Cover when you're coughing into your sleeve. You know, the basics that you were taught when you were little, you still have to do now. C is recommending that kids get their flu shot, <coughs> as well as maintain proper hygiene and a good diet. After a nap, I think I'm going to go get my flu shot. Are you? For Bengals Cast, I'm Christina Hansen reporting. <laughs> The flu and cold season won't end until May. Stay well, everyone. Thank you, Christina. As a fun pastime, we once all gone bowling with our 
either our family or parents. Well, this team or this team lives and breathes bowling. We go to Justin. That's a strike. The Oak Forest Bowling Boys are going for the perfect game as they have a tournament at Centennial Lanes this Saturday. We talked to some people on the bowling team, and this is what they had to say for the upcoming tournament this Saturday. I feel pretty confident. Like our team has done pretty well. Yeah, tournaments may have been shaky. But I say our seasons turn out pretty well. The only concerns I would have would be more mental than physical. I know we have all the physical tools to not only do well, but win regionals. Well, we brought up uh, two guys from the JV team, so uh, everybody will be there. We're going to see how practice goes and then determine the lineup at that point. Well, it seems that the team has high hopes, and I don't blame them. Their record was 12-3 and throughout the entire season, one of their highest records. Well... From the Bengals cast, I'm Justin, and I will see you next time. The bowling might end this Saturday, but have faith. Thank you, Justin. I'm so proud of the love our students have for this community. To see more, check out our website at www.bdtv228.net or search BDTV228 on YouTube. You can also like us on Facebook and Twitter by searching the Bremen District Television. My name is Brett. And I'm David. We will see you next time on Bremen on Bengalcast.